Welcome back, everyone. We got another soul for reaction. I'm Brian, your records at Note Station. This is Voice Play. The song Enemy from the band Imagine Dragons. Am I correct on that? I've heard of them. I haven't, uh, I haven't listened to them. I don't think, maybe I've heard their songs not knowingly. Uh, I don't intentionally listen to them because I'm off in my own little musical world and I've got my own places where I like to visit musically. <laughs> so this is all still kind of new to me. Um, this whole voice play um, group and the storyline behind what they do, uh, and you guys have been really wonderful in filling me in uh, and giving me um, giving me the information and the backstory on a lot of things. It's, it's really nice to have that interaction with you guys. I really do appreciate that. Um, those of you that may think that I can't appreciate what they're doing, maybe maybe that's so. Maybe because I'm not a diehard fan where I'm just completely into them, you know, uh, where, where others are. But uh, I have a lot going on in, in my life, and I have a lot of music that around the world that I'm listening to. Um, and I'm just appreciating the blessing that God has given us uh, of music. Just so fantastic. And... These, this group, I want to say these guys, but I see there's a female vocalist right now. Um, what they're able to do is, is just astounding to me. And I'm not moving on to any other a cappella group yet because I really just want to stay put with voice play for a while. Those of you who are new here, please subscribe and like. There are three ways to support the channel in the description box below. Your reactor takes a lot of time to make these videos for you. I'm tired, folks. Let's get into this. Wake up to the sounds of the silence that allows for my mind to run around with my ear up to the ground. I'm searching to behold the stories that I told when my back is to the world that's smiling when I turn. I swear Jeff's going to get me in trouble with my neighbors with that bass just booming. You guys may not be able to hear it, but I 
feel it. I can feel it. I'm sitting in this chair. I can feel it rumbling through my feet. Uh, you know, I saw on his channel, he's got, uh, I wouldn't call it a lesson, maybe more like a tutorial or something of how to, how to sing low like him. I actually thought maybe one day I'm going to try that just to see what that's all about. Because it's pretty amazing the, the depths of bass that he's able to produce. Um, so first and foremost, you guys got to, what's with the props and the, and the costumes? There's a story behind this. It, it, I wanted to say it's almost kind of like a clockwork setting, but not really. Um, not necessarily. But it, it kind of, I don't know the... Um, the description of, of the kind of world that they were um, they were dressed in. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Just fill me in on that. Um, and I didn't see the name of this gal on the title either, so let me know who she is. But otherwise, this was absolutely fantastic. It was a very pleasant uh, experience. It's, it's always a nice... Um, it's a nice diversion from standard music what do i mean by that well their voices are the instruments right they emulate the instruments and you don't have the actual stringed or percussive instruments so it's really nice just to have a little bit of a change of pace and i've been absolutely astounded by the types of fans that they have you guys have been absolutely wonderful um dedicated and patient because you know i'm featuring a lot of independent artists from indonesia because i think it's very important to support the independent artists especially when you find something as uh fruitful as the fields of indonesia and voice play i wouldn't i don't know if i would consider them independent artists from what i'm hearing they're they're <sighs> did they start their career on social media or are they you know are they signed by a record company you know that kind of stuff I kind of want to know because it, it, it actually helps guide the direction that I go as far as what what bands and artists to feature again I've you know I've been spending a lot of time explaining this because I have to in each video because I have a different group of, of, of fans um, that come in for these videos and watch them uh, I don't necessarily get a lot of consistent uh, fans throughout all of the different videos. That being said, is you know I I really want I really love this idea of using social media to help uh, in independent artists grow and give them exposure as much as possible because anything that's been in my mind that's been taken over by a corporatocracy is kind of been corrupted and and. And now when, when corporate gets their hands into the product, they're going to want to drive that product in a certain direction. That's best for their bottom line. And it's not necessarily best for the artists. But I don't get that sense with these guys. But I do need to know a little bit more about their, their business background in that sense. Does that make sense? Um, but, you know, what can I say? There's, I don't think I've ever really had any complaints about... I don't think I've given any complaints about their their performance, um, their ability to sing. I think it's always been creative. It's been uplifting. It's fun. It's you may be seeing the back of my head while I'm watching it, but I'm smiling. You know, if not on the outside, then on the inside, uh, because these guys and gal in this case uh, just really are fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, um, I can't really give you anything more than just I really enjoyed this. And I hope that's okay with you guys, because it's okay with me. <laughs> All right. God bless you. Jesus loves you. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.